Slappy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, today I got another G Fuel video, and it's not the, you know, the wrap-up I wanted to do the other day. But, nope, I actually got the Mortal Kombat 11 little variety pack thing here. Then I do a little unboxing for you, you know. T try my hands at that market. I already took it out of the big box because... That's boring. There's nothing in it besides packaging and, you know, the receipt and whatever. And this thing. This thing came in it. But they send these with pretty much anything. I'm wondering if they have, like, a summer version or something, or do they always have, you know, this kind of snowy thing? We'll see. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to order in, you know, like, July. But we got the Mortal Kombat Scorpion Sting. I didn't get the Sub-Zero one. I got the Scorpion one. It's got a very colorful stuff <laughs> the the scorpion color the um what, what what's this clan called it's not the shirai ryu is it or is that sub-zero's clan anyway it doesn't matter um unboxing so this is what it looks like this is the energy drink formula and the tumbler pack you know, it says, this stuff, this is always on, like, the side of any given G Fuel thing. Well, actually, no, it's not on the side. It's at the bottom. I was looking at another one on the side here. And you got the insignia for the game, Mortal Kombat 11. I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat fan, but I can appreciate the games. Mortal Kombat, Warner Brothers, uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Is that the Wounded Warrior Project? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of what it looked like at first. And, you know, a little window. So let's open it. Nothing's at the bottom. It's just a barcode. Opening the box. Is there anything interesting in this box? Not really. This is the tumbler. Tumbler's pretty neat looking. I won't be using this tumbler for the uh, review of this, unfortunately. Mostly because I'm probably never going to use this in a review. Though it is really cool. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, neat, neat, it's a yellow hue, G Fuel, and the top has a, a black stopper, and inside it has that ice tray, that's black, that's kind of neat too, but I wanted another tumbler so I could, don't have to wash my clear one every single day, and of course, the main event, Scorpion Sting. Get over here. There he is. There, There's the man himself. Uh, Hanzo something. I was watching a um, lore video of that. and I didn't realize how put together the Mortal Kombat games are. You see, I always thought they were like, you know, one-off kind of games. And kind of like Street Fighter has like similar... I mean, they have like an overarching story, but like... Little things change, like, oh, Ryu entered the tournament because he wanted to f fight for his his gold. <laughs> like, stuff like that. But no, like, they they, they have an in, in connected story. Like, you know, Mortal Kombat 1 Sub-Zero is different than Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero, and I don't know. You know, you got fire and stuff because he's from the Nether Realm, And, yeah, you know, all the supplement facts and stuff. We all had that earlier. So I'm going to cut and then open this, I guess, and get my other one out. So I'll be right back. I was right. It was the Shirai Ryu. That's Scorpion's clan. He's all like, oh, Sub-Zero, you killed my clan. But it really wasn't Sub-Zero who killed his clan. It was the evil sorcerer guy who was looking like Sub-Zero, or Sub-Zero, whatever, anyway, this is not a Mortal Kombat lore video, this is a taste test video, and I already, just putting that in the background, just so you probably can't even see it, nope, now you can, so I got my clear cup, so you can see what color the liquid is when I, you know, do the thing, I didn't unscrew it though, because I'm silly, I did this though, I unscrewed that, and I made sure I got the the little uh, pouring thing in there. And it's an orange 
powder. I was expecting, you know, more of a yellow color, but maybe it'll be more yellow when I, you know, pour it in. About 16 ounces of water, at like a little bit underneath, just so I can have like the full flavor profile. Let's pour it in. Oops. And oh yeah, it does turn a bit more yellow when it hits the water. I'm not sure what flavor this is. It's just scorpion sting. It doesn't say like scorpion stinging orange or scorpion stinging banana. And <coughs> I'm sorry that the, the powder is uh when you get close enough to the powder, you breathe some in. It's kind of like <laughs> that was uh, me breathing in the powder. So it does turn a bit. It's very potent. That it's like a very strong scent, but I can't tell you what it is. It's just strong. That's what that's the that's the scent it is. Let's shake this a bit. Is this uh no, that's not in all the way. Oh boy. There we go. That's in all the way. <clears throat> Always make sure that's in all the way if you So yeah, this this I was I mean it would make sense to use that for the review, but you want to see what color this is, and that and that has a yellow hue to it, so you would have never known that this was about, like, you know, an orange color. You could have ascertained that, but now you can see it with your own eyes, and if you're blind, you just got to take my word for it. Got to mix this up nicely, otherwise... So here's a funny story before I do this real quick. I brought my coffee one to work and I put it in a water bottle and I didn't shake up the water bottle enough and the first sip I got was straight up powder. And I was like, <laughs> because I was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, G Fuel. All right, let's have a smell. Let's see what it smells like. Smells of, I kind of was right. It kind of does smell like strawberry banana. Maybe tangerine. Maybe I like, it's, it's like a, it does have like a citrus scent to it. But it's got like, it's like not orange. It's like I said, it's like it's tangerine. I don't know. Let's have a sip. a spice to this is it just me or is there's a bit of heat to this hmm it kind of reminds me of the um you know the monster infernos that uh or the rain inferno i'm sorry rain infernos has there's just like a little budding heat to it it's not it's not overly spicy or anything it's just like there it's like chili Weird. Let me let me let me give you the whole flavor profile. There's definitely a bit of heat to this. Like a warm sensation. It is spicy, but it's like the sensation is warm first. It's not like like, oh, I just bit into a chili pepper and, oh, it's going to make me cry. It, like, start, it, I don't know how they did it, but it's got, like, a hot fire kind of feel to it at first. It's, it, it's like thermo, thermal, thermal. Yeah, so it's, like, heat, 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 then spice. The other flavors include, um, I'm going to guess pineapple. I kind of get that kind of thing. I, I thought there was kind of some kind of citrus kind of taste to it. Um, perhaps banana as well, because there's a bit of a cool kind of effect to it too. And banana's got that, you know, very like hearty kind of almost sweet taste to it. It's just interesting. This is a spicy drink. I guess it makes sense because it's scorpion, you know.
maybe a bit of orangey tangerine to it. But that's interesting that... I mean, I guess that's the trend right now is spicy energy drinks. It's it's very interesting. Um, do I like it a lot? I, I don't know. I... I, I I, if I knew this was going to be spicy, maybe I would have waited for, like, the small one-shot ones of it, if they ever made that. But I can dig it. The other flavors are pretty good. Is it balanced? Uh, not really. The The heat lingers into the aftertaste and stuff. So maybe, if you're considering this one, it's warm. It, it's a... On a cool winter day, you might you, this might do the trick, man. If you don't want like a hot chocolate or a coffee or something, hey, maybe this will warm your bones. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. It's very interesting. Like I said, the spice spicy flavor isn't so like hardcore. It's there, but it's just not like like I can't stand it. It's not making me tear up. It's not doing anything like that. If you're really, like, not good with spice, maybe, but I I would say I'm, like, lower mid-tier when it comes to being able to handle spice, and I'm all right with this. So, yeah, that's, a, that's interesting. I'm kind of curious what the Sub-Zero one tastes like now, because that, I, I mean, what are they going to make it, like, have a, like, a Pop Rocks kind of thing, where it, like, numbs your tongue? That could be interesting. Anyway, Sub-Zero, I mean, Scorpion, Sting, what do I give it out of Rad? I give it a, I'll give it Mortal Kombat 2 out of Rad.